Hey there, my name is Aramis, and over the past weekend, I participated in the Ludum Dare 55 Game Jam. I participated as a compo project, which means I had to complete it solo in only 48 hours, and I had to build up all my own art assets, sound effects, code, and let me tell you, it was a blast. This time around, the theme was summoning, and I ended up making this game called Souls R Us. It ends up playing kind of like an incremental game. I was trying to get some sort of a base defense game put together where you have to defend this summoning ritual to ultimately try to summon Lucifer by getting 666 souls so you'd come to satan's corner store here which i thought was a lovely little name and you have to go ahead and then spend some of those souls on upgrades for your little devils right now let's grab this plus one to summon devils and we'll make it actually plus three and maybe we'll get some more souls over time we'll do some just random upgrades as well i didn't get the balance of the upgrading system all that correctly but it ends up being quite a fun game where you ultimately are going to build out a horde of devils to defend lucifer's summoning ritual and you have to defend it from these angels which will spawn around there now, I've done a lot of game jams before, and so I've come up with a list of tips. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you want them, but one of the big ones is scoping things really smallly. And I don't know if it was the hubris or my overconfidence or just, I don't know, if I just kind of had a lapse and not listening to my own advice, but I completely overscoped this project. When the theme went live, I tried to spend, because it's only 8 p.m. my time, so I tried to spend a couple of hours just brainstorming ideas in kind of a painting application, just letting them flow through talking about maybe something to do with court, like summoning people or summoning minions or a ritual. And I ended up coming up with this kind of base defense mechanic where you'd have devils versus angels. And for some reason, I decided to overscope it and I wanted four types of devils and four types of angels. Now, I went to bed Friday night, kind of about 11 o'clock at night, feeling pretty good about the design choice. And I woke up Saturday morning and then I decided to dive in to just getting a quick prototype together of some red Godot icons and some blue Godot icons and making sure they could attack each other. That actually came together relatively quickly. And then for some ungodly reason, I spent about five or six hours making really good code for kind of a robust system for having some inheritance and some comp componentization and all this really nice infrastructure if this project were something I would build over the course of months. But again, I have 48 hours to do it. In fact, at the top here, you can see I had one hour and uh, one day and six hours. Over the next six hours, I was basically building out a system for multiple types of enemies and multiple types of player characters. And it came together. I had different types of sizes. You can see here a bunch of little ones are being spawned in. And you can also spawn in some big ones. I mean, come on, Aramis, spawn in. Yeah, you can spawn some Mongo ones, some big kind of tanky dudes that walk slowly. They can come in and attack. And that's all good. But boy, as I was play testing this, I remember thinking this game isn't fun. I don't see the fun of this game right now. And even further... All of a sudden, you can see here, the game started lagging super bad. And so I hit my despair mode at that point. I was like, oh my god. One, this game's not even going to be playable. I, I This is like a small amount of enemies I was picturing on screen. The game isn't even playable. It's just chugging along on frame rates. The game isn't even fun. And so I spent the last kind of two hours of stream trying to pivot and figure out what would be fun. Trying to find some optimization that I could do to make the game even a little bit cleaner. I'm sure there's really smart ways you could do stuff, but I am not a smart monkey. And so I just tried my best. I ended up getting there in the end. And through playtesting, I found the pivot of something I probably should have been doing initially, which is just making a horde of devils that attacks a horde of angels and then exploring that and making sure I could get that done. So with only a day's worth of time and about 14 hours of streaming later, I decided to simplify my decision, which it's better to pivot, you know, at some point during the game jam, but I should have been doing this from the beginning. That is something I've learned again is to scope the idea a little bit lower and maybe do some smart design decisions early so you don't have to waste, I probably wasted six hours on Saturday building out really nice code for reusable components that ended up never getting reused. So that's six hours that I never got back, which in 48 hours, that's a big chunk of time. And then Sunday rolled around. Now Sunday is the moving day where you really need to get the, the polish put in, the bugs fixed, the balance done. Kind of if you have art assets to refine, need to get that done. And this is a good time to talk about my three goals for the game jam. Whenever I do a game jam, I want to come up with a different set of goals that I can do. And number one was going to be to make a game that was fun. That's always kind of the first goal of a game jam is I just want it to be fun. You get ranked in categories later, and I want to try to score as high as possible, really in the fun category. Number two is I wanted to explore 
Factor Arts. And number three is I want to have good streams. Now, the streams were absolutely fun. They were some of my highest Twitch streams as far as viewer counts go ever. So if you haven't checked those out, I highly recommend you go follow me over on Twitch and join me there. We're, I'm growing like crazy. It's been fun seeing a bunch of people from YouTube show up as well. I'd love to see you there. Now, I spent some time on Sunday learning vector art. This was in a tool called Affinity Designer 2. Up until this point, I had watched a two hour tutorial at 1.5 speed and a lot of that didn't stick. So I actually spent probably a good like six or seven hours on Sunday just bashing my head against vector art just getting the devil put together it took me probably two hours it took me a little bit less time to do the angel and then I was able to easily explore using in engine animation using the Godot's uh, animation player to animate the angel so they had flapping wings and let me tell you making wings is really hard I'll probably try to do it again at some point but these look like weird hands and stuff on the sides of the angels but putting in a flapping animation here does do a a little bit better let me show you what it looks like in game you can see they kind of start having this nice little flapping effect and that worked out pretty well i was able to use the vector art to do procedural animation which ultimately maybe saved me some time instead of having to jump into a sprite and doing a bunch of sprite frames and stuff like that so it might be a wash on that but i think next time if i do vector art again it will be far easier and finally came time for my favorite part of game jams which is using my own mouth my own mouth here to come up with different sound effects for the game. If you are doing a game jam, instead of using a tool like SFXR or BFXR, which kind of give you these procedural different um, computery noises, I would recommend using your mouth. It took me about an hour to implement I think we had upwards of a hundred different sound effects in the game and it gives it quite a bit of charm. I did this for a previous game jam project and I actually got second place in audio and humor because of that. It can give your project a nice kind of lift in the, uh, the, the, the good type of jank that a game jam project I think needs to have. And finally, we got within the last hour and you could see here, the look on that face down there, that is not a confident version of myself. And so I'm dramatically trying to play test quickly, quickly, quickly because I want to get a good balance between angel spawning and devil spawning and in the last twilight moments with like 30 seconds left to go I decided to just nerf everything buff the player and just really lean into the fun that is ultimately just creating a giant horde of devils running around this screen attacking angels and is the balance correct no. But ultimately, I think I did achieve my three goals of making a fun game, exploring vector art, and having fun streams. And that's all that really matters. Now, I am, at the same time, these things can both be true, I'm fairly disappointed in my performance. I think mainly that's because this is a good game, and I'm proud of the game I made, but I think I was two or three good design decisions away from making a game that was really fun and really impressive for 48 hours. Primarily speaking, I think I could have leaned into maybe some more of an idle mechanic where it wasn't this kind of balancing between guilty curve of angel spawning and your devils having to become more powerful through this upgrade system, but just having an idle situation where maybe there's no maybe fail condition. Maybe you're both, you maybe you're both controlling the spawning of the angels and the spawning of the devils. So you're both setting the difficulty curve yourself, which I think ultimately leaning into an incremental slash idle mechanic could have allowed me to explore this summoning theme a bit more and really try to lean into what I thought was the true fun of this game. I will be live over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash I am live Tuesday through Thursday, starting at 11 a.m. Central time for about five or six hours with the occasional Saturday stream mixed in there as well. I'd love to see you there. There'll be links below to the Ludum Dare stuff we talked about in this video here. Otherwise, I'll see you over on the stream. I've been Irmis. Have a great day. Bye-bye.